say why. Yeah, I'll finish the um, other homework um, on the weekend. She sat at home. Oh, yeah, okay. Have you got lots to do at the moment? Yeah, I had came in, I had tennis, and now I've got less, and I've got I've got um, I've got like a half an hour massing after this. So after wow, it. tennis! Gosh, and after that, I'm too tired when you work at nine. So, oh. <laughs> are, you, are you good at tennis? Mm. I hope so. I'm playing for players right now. So, I hope so. Yeah, do you like it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so tonight we are doing um let me reading section again for um but this time it's for educas, isn't it? Let me just have a look, make sure. Oh no, inspector calls. What am I talking about? Inspector calls. <clears throat> I'm doing so many classes at the moment. Is so it English literature or language? It's both. Like... It's both. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. So um are you doing inspector calls? Uh yes. Yes. Tell me what you know about it. I, I went to a play about I think I went to a play about it. Um apparently Did you um, go to um the every man? Empire Theatre to see it. Yeah, the Empire. Um, from what I remember, um, I, I can't, a family's having like a wedding party. Yeah. Um, a, a inspector turns up, um, tells them someone's dead. They don't <laughs> care. And then, yeah, they end up knowing the person in the end of them and then um, call the hospital when, when he leaves, tell that person hasn't died. They're all happy again. Yeah, that's pretty it in a nutshell. Well done, Alex. Who else do we have here then? Howen. Um is or is that somebody just from OE? Is this a new student or is it somebody from OE? We don't know. I think that's somebody recording it. So we're, I think Alan's looking for us. I think maybe um we've got Oscar coming as well. But we'll just go ahead. Is that okay, Alex? Hold on. If we just start. Yeah, yeah. So, Inspector Calls, GCSE Literature. So, this is what your, your questions could look like. Okay? Oh, yeah, it's just OE Administrator. <laughs> Hello, OE Administrator. Um, okay, so this is what your questions could look like, Alex. Have you seen anything like this before? Um, no, I don't do this because I'm so year 11, so. Okay, so you'd be ahead of everyone then? That's mm. good to know. <laughs> um, I'll just, I'm going to send Alan that. Uh, are we administrator? Could you send Alan the link again? Because I think he's in the wrong class. I've had a message to say he's in my other, he's in my class. He do, he did he does do this. It doesn't work. He's saying, he's saying this one doesn't work. <laughs> are you are you able, OE administrator, to get in touch with him? I'm missing someone. I think quiet. Yeah, Alan, but he's oh, he's gone yeah. to the wrong class. Oh. Uh, um, he's gone to the wrong class. I'll I'll try and send this to him. See if it works. Um. Oh, okay. I'm going to try and send this to him. Uh, see if it works. Um, um, yeah, I'm just sending it to him. I've got a, 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 I do. 
I've sent him it again. So let's hope that he finds us. Okay. So <clears throat> this is what they look like. So they're worth 34 mark, uh, 30 marks, four marks are for AO4, which is like your um, spaggy stuff, really. Okay. So um, it's a lot of marks, isn't it? It's a lot of marks, so you need to spend about 45 minutes on this and you can choose one. So looking at these questions now, Alex, which one do you think you would choose? Um, I would like, um, with a woman. Couple of questions to me seems the easiest one to die about, how is she the change? You're dead on. That's exactly what I would choose too, Sheila. The character questions, I feel, are always the easiest. And also, Sheila does change, doesn't she? Yeah, I was going to say, she has like, this very easy. I've just changed, so. Uh, how do you think Sheila changes, Alex? Um, Watch. So the way we would go about this one, probably, is we would think, <laughs> what's she like at the beginning? What happens? How does she to make a change and what she like at the end at the beginning she's like more self-centered only really cares about herself and then maybe she ruined um that girl everybody like, they're all like that aren't they alex yeah yeah and, and in the middle the fact she finds out what she and how she got her fires and then she feels really guilty about it and then basically at the end she finds out she's not dead but she's still really upset and then she finds out she's actually dead and then yeah and she wants other people to change, doesn't she? Yeah, um, her and her brother changes, but not the other best of the family and that other person. So it's about Priestley's trying to say something, isn't he, really, here? Do you think he's trying to tell the audience something? Yeah, not to be self-centered and kind of help other, others, you know. Yeah, yeah. Definitely, definitely. That's really good. Well done. Okay, so... There's some more here as well. So that's these are all the kind of questions that you could get. What I'm going to do is I'm going to, I've made a booklet. See how many questions there are? And that's the poetry section as well that we have actually looked at. Oh, yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into our group. Into Well, I'll send it to Jenny because we haven't got a group chat, have we? No. We'll have a little look at all of these. So it shows you how the questions are formulated, what you could have, and it's sort of the um, examples of the paper, if you like, the poetry and inspector cause. Let's see. Okay, so it's showing you. Okay, so I will put that into the chat so that you can see it. So let's have a little go. So, you know, for the inspector calls, will you actually have, so are you sure, let's have a look at the others. Are you sure that's still the one that you wanna do? So you've chosen that one. Let's have a look at these and see if it's still the one that you want to choose to look at. I don't know if Alan's still not that arrived. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, yeah. The other one I would probably choose is um is Eva Smith an important character. Yeah, because she is an important character, isn't she? Despite the fact that what? She's dead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, the only other, there's another play like that, well, it's a screenplay actually, and it's called The Third Man, and it's about a death, somebody who's died, but they haven't actually died. So you think they're dead until you realise they're not dead. So it's that's a very unusual um, sort of circumstance as well. It shows what a good writer they are when they can make you so interested in a character that's actually not even there. <laughs> OK, so let's think about how we would go about answering this question then. In your school, what do they say about answering this question? <laughs> Um, it's more you, you normally get a text like a short extract from the play won't you inspector calls oh oh yes you do yeah so oh. that's what we'll look at yeah 
So it probably says just use some curse from the ex- te- um, extract you get and then um, make more to other paragraphs on the um, main play. Yeah. Using like two quotes. Yes, exactly, exactly. So, and... um. <clears throat> Yeah, and what we're going to do now then is we'll look at an exact, we'll look at the paper and what it looks like on there, okay? And we'll also look at an answer, all right? Mm -hmm. And then, um, I'm just trying to get in touch with them, with, yeah. Does it feel um oh dearie me? Um right, okay. There's nothing I can do, I've tried. All right. Okay, let's have a look at the exact um sample. Okay. You're AQA, aren't you? Yeah. But they're, they're pretty much the same, the questions. The format of the... um, The format of the paper is different. But the questions are the, are the same. So, no, I was right. They don't give you... So, it's the Shakespeare where they give you an example. So, just let me... Go back to the Zoom. Oh, he sent me a message, I think. I do not seem to... Sorry, I don't know what happened there. Um, right. This is what the um, actual exam paper looks like. Um, like this. And this is actually an AQA because you're the only one here. I'll do an AQA. But they are pretty much the same. They're just the layout. The things are different. So Educast has got different things in it. Um the Shakespeare, the poetry, et cetera. This is what yours, so you'll have, it's paper two and it's your modern text and poetry. Okay, so your paper one is your Shakespeare um, novel and on scene, okay? This is your anthology and your, so this is all your poetry. So this is what it will say. Answer one of the questions. So you, there's loads of dramas, but that's yours. So you're not Willie Russell, you are. So don't get all panicky and thinking, oh, mine's not in there. It will be, okay? Yours will definitely be in there. Can you see this? Uh, no, I just need to see a face. So, where's that happened? Okay. So it'll say, <clears throat> it'll give you two, uh, two options, okay? So it's giving you Eric and social class in the expected. So let's pretend we're still doing the um, Sheila one because that's the one you want to do, isn't it? Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we would start, so it's in what Sheila says and does throughout the play and what how Priestley presents Sheila as a character, okay? So I would suggest about five to six paragraphs and I would do it in the style of... Yeah. A. A. And what do, would you include in these? You what's your points for Alex? Um, you could say like which parts at the beginning could make a, a point, like saying how she was at the beginning. Yeah. Exactly. But maybe say like um. So well, you're just connected, like, in the beginning, I think that's a really good way to start, Alex. In the beginning, Sheila, or whichever character you're deciding, I would always personally choose a character question. Yeah. I think they're the best to do. 
Okay, I think because you've got a clear beginner. These these ones about a theme are quite complex and it's so broad. So they could seem like the good one to do because they're quite vague, but you need to be specific and you need to have quotes in your head. Okay. So mm -hmm. at the beginning, um Sheila is presented as this kind of character by Priestley. In order to do this, what does Priestley do? How does he present the characters? What does he use initially? Well, it's dialogue, isn't it? It's what they're saying to each other. So how do we know about Sheila? What kinds of things does she say? And what kind of things do people say about her? Do you think? Are you still there, Alex? Yeah, yeah, has um, by, um, I've muted. Oh. <laughs> but yes, I'd like you not to speak. So what do you think, so how do we know what Sheila's like at the beginning? What clues do we get? Um, how she's talking to the inspector, she's like, oh. Yes, yeah. So yeah. it's the inspector, that's what Priestley uses to, to really expose everything. He's a dramatic device, isn't he, the inspector? Mm -hmm. Eva and the inspector are dramatic uh, um, devices that are used by Priestley to expose the characters, to show their journey, to show their characteristics. Excellent. Yes. Okay. Then we we'll, would have a quote. So you do need to memorise some quotes. Okay. Yeah. Which can be difficult, but you just need to be mindful of you as you're going along. Yeah, trying to do like famous key, like main. main yeah. Key yes, yes, exactly. Okay, and then what would you do for this, the tea? Um, that'd be a technique, so it depends on your quote, really. Yeah, it could be dialogue, it could be a dramatic technique of the, of the, inspector, it could be dramatic irony, you know, when the audience are finding things out but the, the characters don't know. Yeah. It's one, isn't it? That's used a lot. Then our analysis is where we're looking closely, aren't we? At, it's asking us for changes in attitudes. So at yeah. the beginning, oh. That's Oscar. Oscar, we know his face, even though that's not his face. <laughs> Are you there, Oscar? Welcome. We're looking at inspector calls. Okay, and we're looking at this question, but we've decided to do it on Sheila. We've made our mind up. We're not doing it on Eric. We're doing it on Sheila because <laughs> we prefer Sheila. Okay, so we're doing petal and we're on to the technique. Then we're thinking about analysis. So Close analysis, we're really mining that word and we have to think of the gap, don't we? We have to think of genre, especially for these, especially for these literary um, answers. So we need to think of the genre, so it's a play. You need to constantly be talking about, the, it's a play, it's a play. So you also need to be talking about the audience, the audience, and you also need to be talking about the purpose of the writer. So what is the writer trying to do? He's written a play. Why? What's he trying to say? Why does he want to get all of these people in this room and say all this stuff? What does he want to make them feel and think? Okay, so you need to be remembering those words, the play, the audience, the writer. Please remember that it's not a book. The examiners are looking for you to use these words, genre, audience, and purpose. Okay? <clears throat> And then we have to link it to what? What are we linking it to in these literacy, liter literary um, questions? In English literature, what do we have to do? Link it to what? Context. Yes, context. 
And what really is the context that Priestley is getting at? What's he talking about here? And what is he using Sheila to do? You were sort of talking about it before, Alex. Um, how like is like how like high up people, like high class people are more self centered and arrogant. Like you think it's all about themselves, isn't it? Yeah, because um, you have to talk about what was going on at the time, what was happening in England, what had happened and what was happening. Was it in, was it a revolution, an industrial revolution, or was that later? No, on? no, that was no, not at that time. That's like poetry and stuff, isn't it? What was happening now? Do you know, Oscar? Are you doing um, Inspector Calls, Oscar? No, you're not doing. It. Yes, no, yes or no. Are you doing it for your exam? No. Which which play are you doing? Oscar, which play? No, that's your Shakespeare. Which play? Which drama? Well, have you read Inspector Calls in school? Oh, have you done any dramas? Have you done Blood Brothers? Or have you done any dramas at all? <laughs> but what are you doing in English literature? What, what are you studying for your exam? No, Macbeth is Shakespeare. So you'll, you'll do a Shakespeare text. Okay, then you will also do poetry. You will also do a novel and you will also do a modern drama. Uh, well, you need to find out what you're doing. We can look at Blood Brothers. Okay, it's actually on this paper, but I don't want to look at it if that's not what you're studying. Do you know what I mean? Who are you with? Are you with AQA or Educast? AQA, yeah. So I'll show you this paper now. Okay, so this is what your paper looks like. But it's good, all this, because it's good that you find out. You need to ask these things because you need to be studying them. You need to know. Right, so this is the AQA paper too. All right. <laughs> Here we go. So <clears throat> it's two hours and 15 minutes, which is a long time, isn't it? And these are the text. Uh, Inspector Calls, Blood Brothers, The History Boys, DNA, The Curious Incident, The Taste of, a Taste of Honey, Lord of the Flies, Telling Tale. Oh. Who's this? Alan. Um, so you can see all of these things. This is prose and drama. Okay. And then we also have poetry. And you also have a novella, which could be Christmas Carol. Is that you, Alan? Hi. Welcome. <laughs> I, I tried all the passwords and they didn't oh, work. I don't know why. No. I'm so sorry. Well, if there's anything that we've missed, we can catch up on Tuesday, okay? I don't mind yeah. keeping a bit longer on Tuesday or whatever, so we'll catch up, okay? Yeah. Welcome, anyway. So try to make a note of it that this is this is our Friday, Saturday account, and then our Tuesday is different, okay? Right. So how you answer these drama questions is the same for every text, just obviously the quotes will be different, okay? So we're gonna look now at some little sample answers. Um, okay. Oh. Now, 
this is really good, this website. Okay, it's absolutely brilliant. And I would always advise you to go on it. It's got every single thing that you need, but you do need to know your way around it. You need to know how to use it. So planning your answer, it's just like we've just said, Alex, you need to introduce, show where your extract is from. So is it from the beginning? Is it from the middle? Is it from the end? I would suggest you always start at the beginning, okay? Who is Sheila? Talk about her. Point one, how are they presented, just like we were saying? So they're presented in this way, with this language, with dialogue, by the inspector, by Eva. What ideas does this represent? What themes? Socialism, egocentric, not caring about anyone, empathy. How is she presented in the rest of the play? And then summon up your ideas. So it's six things, isn't it, that you need to talk about. And here is a sample answer. Okay. Would anybody like to read that out? No, just read it yourselves then. And then look at these feedback points as well. <clears throat> Sorry, my computer's going a bit funny. I'm just going to move. Okay. So in this extract, Mr. Berling is shown as being ignorant. He makes a joke out of young people's behaviour, suggesting you don't know what some of these boys get up to nowadays. So there we have in our point, okay, these are the things that you need to think about. <clears throat> in this extract, joke out of young, suggesting what some people these boys get away with nowadays. So there's the quote, isn't it? It's a very long quote that. I think, okay? I think that's a very long quote. He does not know that his own son has been drinking heavily and mistreating Eva Smith. Mr. Berling also shows that he's very arrogant, stating that a man has to make his own way, showing that Mr. Berling believes that everyone should look after themselves. J.B. Priestley did not believe this. He thought we should, so here we have the context and the purpose of the writer, okay? So they're telling us what Priestley was thinking, what his purpose is. What, so they're looking at the P and the gap. OK, he thought we should look after one another. Finally, finally, we've got a connective. Mr. Berling shows that that cannot be quite sexist after all, talking to Gerald. He's that we will join the ladies. That will stop me giving you good advice. Mr. Berling sees men and women as being two separate species. The advice he gives is only good for men that he was with. This shows that he does not see men and women as equal. Okay, so what's missing here? What things are missing considering what we've just been talking about? Alan, are you doing inspector calls? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So let's look at this. What is missing here from this answer? Well, we've got the bullet points here. This answers the question, but there is definitely further exploration. There are good quotation chosen, but they explain impact rather than explore them. They consider the impact on the audience further. The audience isn't even mentioned. 
Some of the writer's ideas are mentioned, but there is not enough detail, ideas on age, social responsibility or context of the play. I think the structure's all wrong and there is no definition of language techniques or dramatic techniques used. Are there? Can anyone see any? Any, um, what, sorry, you call Language features or... There's none. <clears throat> so the things that are missing here are context, language features, and development of the point. And also, what are the audience feeling? What are they thinking and feeling? That is the whole point. So let's now read this one. For a start, it's a lot longer. Tell me when you get to the bottom of the page and I'll um, wind it down a bit. Tell me when you want me to move on. I'm not very well tonight. I don't know if you can all hear it in my voice. I've got a little cold. We ready to move down a little bit? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. And then I want you to tell me what you think is good and what you think could be improved, if anything. <laughs> Anyone? Anyone got any feedback? What do we think is good and what do we think could be improved? The 
the quote use what the quote use is good or could be improved oscar come on be the teacher be specific okay in what way I think I detailed with very detailed. Yeah, it's very detailed. Good. You know what else? I like the structure of it. And do you know what I particularly like? You might think this is funny, but I always suggest my students do this. When he's talking about the the purpose of the writer, and they do this really well in this act in this answer, and that's really important, the purpose of here, Priestley, so he says, um, perhaps, and he says this a few times, and I would always say to my students, in literature, use the words, perhaps, possibly, maybe, because we don't know. Priestley hasn't said, he hasn't stood up on the stage and go, I want you audience to all think this. This is what I think. All we can do is, it's suggested isn't it? He wants us to come to our own conclusions. He's suggesting, perhaps he's suggesting this. Maybe this is what he's thinking. So that's a nice touch. That's what I would suggest you do. And a perhaps maybe possibly. It just covers everything, you know. And as long as you can really back it up, it's the best thing to do. It works really, really well. Okay, so I really like the way they've done that. And it might seem a silly thing, but it's it's a good way to write. Okay, that's a really good element to have in your writing. Um, you're right, the quotes are embedded very well. They're judicious. What do I mean by judicious? And that is in the mark scheme. What does that mean, judicious? So, like, um, so, like... I, it would cut, it's like really high, like it's judged like very high, isn't it, or something like that? It's a good judgment of quote. It matches the question, okay? Yeah. Yes, having good judgment. Yeah. So if your 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 um quotes are judicious, it means you've judged them well. They go with the um, they go with the question. You pick the right quotes out. Yes, definitely. And they are embedded well. You're right, Oscar. It's lovely. It's well written. Um, good. Yes. And th there are links to context. There are links to theme. It's he's he's assuming what well not assuming he's he's um talking about what Priestley perhaps wanted to do and perhaps how he wanted to affect the audience and perhaps how the audience were affected. So this is what they have said. It shows good understanding of the question, and that is the judicious quotes, isn't it? It's clear, thoughtful, and it evaluates well. So that's what you want. The quotes are explored in detail, which is what you all said considering the impact of specific words. So it's zoomed in on the really, I call it with my students, um, the mine and the quotes. And that's what you have to do in literature. So you get a word and you dig right into it. So it's rather than have a massive quote, like in that first one, and it's just too much, have one word and really go on about that one word. Because it's the same as Shakespeare. What in theatre, what will happen is every word is so mindful. You know, it's 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 deliberate. So why is the writer put that word in? Let's talk about that word. That's how you'll get more marks. Not a massive quote. A small quote and really dig deep. Uh, the impact on the audience could be looked at more. OK, so they ha they've forgotten a little bit that it's about the audience. It's all about the audience. Otherwise, it'd be a book. OK, I went to see Macbeth on a Saturday night um, and it was it was it was interesting. It was very different in many ways than our interpretation of Macbeth. Um, but it was really good and they made it well. It was good. It was good. And the themes and the concepts were there. 
But what I realized is what the director had done is taken those words, taken those themes, changed where, you know, put screens on. It was very high tech. Everyone was wearing modern clothes, et cetera. There were modern themes as well and modern language to some extent, but still the old Shakespearean language as well, because what he wanted to do, the director, was affect the audience because the audience is always the most important. So you need to address this question with that in mind all the time. And that's how you will get in that top band for the Shakespeare question. And for this question, keep the audience utmost. That's why I say genre, audience, purpose. OK, it's a play. It's not a book. So everything the writer is doing, the purpose of the writer is to affect those people in that small space area at that moment in time you, the problem is we all read it so we're not getting the effect that we should get okay so you need to think these people were sat in a room back in the day okay when these themes that we're talking about were quite controversial you know the women had literally just got the vote okay so to think that we're talking about women as the most important people in this play. That's outrageous. Do you think that we're saying that men can't do what they want? <gasps> How dare we say that? So that's what Priestley wanted to do. That's the effect he wanted to have on the audience. And really, when you think about it in a room full of people, that is a really good way to get them all. <gasps> You've got them there. You're looking at them. So we to get your top marks, you need to be thinking about that. Okay? Shocking the audience. Uh, you know, me, uh, ultimately, what this what this play is trying to do is make us feel empathy, as you said, Alex. Priestley is trying to make us think we need to think about other people, and he's talking about capitalism. He's talking about being kind. He's talking about, um, you know, that just because we don't get caught for doing something doesn't mean that it's right. It's it, He's talking about conscience, an individual conscience and a social conscience. So it's political, it's economic and it's social, okay? And that is what, and it was during, he, was, he wrote about a time before it was actually, you know, put on the stage. So when it was put on the stage, it was very different and people were feeling different, but it was about another time, a controversial time in other ways. So if you can get all that into it, that's how you're going to get into top band. And it's a lot, it's difficult, okay? But that's what you need to do, all right? So you do need to know the play quite well and you do need to have thoughts and reflection. If you look here, it says it's thoughtful and evaluative. So... They want you to be looking at the same with Shakespeare, the same with all of the literature questions. So with the poetry, they want you to look at and think, what's that writer trying to do? What's that writer trying to say? How does that make me feel? What does that make me think? Is that what that writer was trying to do? And that's exactly the same with the drama and with the um, Macbeth. And we're going to be talking about, I think we're talking about Christmas Carol. Is it next week? Let me have a look. Uh, let's see. Yes. Oh no, it's mon it's next Friday. We're looking at Christmas Carol. And it's the same what we're looking at there. It's a novella. Um, and we're looking at the effect on the audience again. The purpose of the writer and the effect on the audience in a different genre, because it's a novel. Okay. Right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to another question. Um, I'm just a little bit... We're going to go back to that question about Sheila. Okay.
but it's taken ages. <laughs> so we've decided to use because uh, <laughs> we can because it's not the real exam we've decided to use Sheila okay so <clears throat> thinking about what we've just done how would we go about planning this now what would we do to plan this answer. So it's worth 30 marks. We would spend 45 minutes on it. Um, and what would we do? So we would do our intro and how, what would we put on our intro? What I'd like you to do is just for the next, we've only got 12 minutes. So I would just like you to put in the chat a little plan of what you're going to say. And do you remember any quotes? So I don't know if you can remember any quotes or what you can remember, Oscar. Because I've got a feeling if you have done this in school, that this is what you will be doing. But I don't know. But this is what tonight's lesson is supposed to be about, Inspector Calls. So if you don't know any, don't worry, Oscar. And we can just, can you write them to everyone so we can all see and share? So maybe we do our plan, like in a, in a test, what we'd write on as a plan, basically. So this is what we're doing, especially. Um, Right. A little plan. Oh, oh, yeah. Fine. So what would so you're thinking about Sheila? You've looked at those examples. You know what's important. You know. Are there any particular quotes that you can remember that you would put in? Are there any particular moments in the play? Okay, that you would think about. Think about the content top context. What is the purpose of Priestley by using Sheila? What is her journey in terms of his purpose and the effect on the audience? Because you know how important that is. You know that that's the only thing that's going to take you to the top band. Okay. Is that all right, Alan? So just write for me, and so I'm not doing all the work. <laughs> how would you, how many paragraphs, we have talked about how many paragraphs, and what you would put in each. Just quickly, 10 minutes. You wouldn't even spend this long on your plan in the exam. You would spend three to five at the most. I would, I would say that you should do a plan. <laughs> There's too many paragraphs. Okay. You do need an introduction and a conclusion. Definitely, Oscar. Yeah. And what should they be? What you always need your introduction and conclusion to be? Should anything new happen in your conclusion? No, they should be the same. Yeah. So my thing is always say what you're going to say in the introduction, then say it in the main body, then say what you've already said. That's a really good essay plan. Your, your conclusion is rounding it all up. You should never have anything new in your conclusion or you'll get marked down. <sighs> Yeah, well done, Oscar. Definitely. 
Context is so important in literature, so important, because it's like with poetry, you know, when we think about those poems that we were talking about, when we talk about Dickens next week, it's these, these men wrote, or these women wrote, because they had something to say, and they had something to say about the society that they were living in at the time. So you can't not talk about that. You have to talk about it. You know, you have to talk about the opinion of the writer and the effect it would have had. It's essential. Anyone else? Oscar's given me three things. He doesn't even know he's studying it. <laughs> yes, he was presented as an ideal middle class man. What's that? What? Why? Why do you think that was important? What was that about? What was the purpose of that? What was Priestley trying to do? Maybe, perhaps, possibly. What was I have to ask you though, Oscar, what is that face all about? What is that? That emoji, is it an emoji? Ah, <laughs> uh, what is it? Is it like showing that you're clever because you've got glasses on? Oh, the nerd, I should have one of them, I'm a nerd. <laughs> It's good, I like it. <laughs> you have to embrace your nerdness, don't you? That's what I think you've got. If you're a geek, embrace it. Or is yours ironic? Let's think as well about, so this second part, how far Priestley presents the change in attitudes of Sheila. So we're talking about Sheila, unless you want to talk about Eric. You know, you have to think about that. So you would have to have a paragraph for that, wouldn't you? The change, where is the change? Why did the change take place? And why was it important for, for a character to actually show change and for some characters to not? Was was Sheila important in terms of her relationship to the other characters not changing? What was what was significant about that? We've only got five minutes left, so I would like to have some answers. Which part? Well, I, I, have you done a little plan? Eric. Yeah, yeah, I sent mine. I, I'm, I write like the giant thing where you like, send like one, two, and three. Huh? Really? Oh, you meet sorry, it. sorry, sorry. Let, let me resend it. Sorry, I've got it, I've got it. It's just okay, okay. Okay. I this. So discuss how she looks. Start first, peel paragraph. I'm going to get a bit more from number four. Yeah, I'm going to get a little bit more from number four, but I can click enter. So. Right. I, I think about like you just don't to make sure you don't repeat yeah, like what you said at the intro. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. What about the yeah, so beginning to let the audience know what she is like at the beginning. Okay, so what's the point of her changes in terms of the audience? What do you mean by that? Well, so her changing and the others not. Mm -hmm. What do you think the purpose of that was? For the audience. To maybe show that all, all people can't, not all people can change and some are just naturally 
she does the best thing to give Oscar. Yeah. And what what's he trying to do to the audience, do you think, in terms of our emotions? If you're sit there, sat there watching that, who do you want to be? Sheila. <laughs> yeah. You want to be Sheila, don't you? So that's what he's trying to do, isn't it? He's trying to say to the audience, you can change. And it's the best way. He's shaming us almost. Because when, you know, and we all have to admit it, really, you know, do we want to, would we, would we do that? Would we go, yeah, I've done this. I'm a bad person. We'd like to think we would, but that's what he's doing. He's shaming us, isn't he? So Sheila is our shame. Sheila is saying, that's your conscience. You can't hide from it. You might think you can, but you can't really. So I think Sheila is so important and it's important in terms of the other character. Do we want to be one of the other characters? Because <laughs> we will be if we don't. So he's been really clever, hasn't he? He's shown us, right, you can be like this this one that you all want to be and she changed and you'd rather be the inspector. I know. But what, that's a whole other question though, isn't it really, Oscar? Is he real? That, do we think the inspector's real? What do we think? What do we think? You could get a question about the inspector, but I just think it's, so philosophical it's so hard i don't know i wouldn't encourage anyone a hallucination or what else i think it's almost like sort of our conscience or a soul or i don't think it's religious because he it's more he was very political priestly he wouldn't use religion Oh, no, I don't think it's fraud. <laughs> but I think it's it's almost like a kind of spiritual conscience, you know, like, because we don't know if that person's real and he's gone. At the end, it's very strange, isn't it, the whole thing? And that's why they can go, oh, that didn't really happen. That's not. Eva's soul. Oh, I know. Exactly. So that's the other thing that's happening. And so what it's saying is this world that we live in, it's material. It's a material world. So it's questioning all of those things that we hold as gods, that we hold as really important. But it, what he's suggesting is at the end of the day, you're left with yourself and you have to live with yourself. And what is more important and it's it's just really interesting because when the when the um, inspector is there, they're all a certain way because they're scared of what's going to happen to them in this real world, or but nobody's bothered about what might happen to your soul or your conscience, or so Priestley's kind of blending it all, isn't he, in a very philosophical way? So in order to get those top marks, that's what you need to be thinking about. That's what um, he wanted to do. Ma uh, Yeah, the subconscious. And even the conscious, our conscience, thinking, I shouldn't have done that, that was wrong. Just because you get away with something doesn't make it right. That's the moral of Inspector Calls. <laughs> Second thoughts. Yeah. Okay, we've got, I love talking about Inspector Calls and I probably did go off on a few tangents, but it's good. In literature, it's good. You should. Okay. So well done, everyone. Um, Oscar, you need to find out what drama you're doing um, very soon. Okay. It's very, very important. But you've had lovely contributions tonight. So thank you so much. And um, if you would like to do any of those questions, the full question, please feel free to send it to Jenny and I'll give you a mark. And it's good practice. OK, I'd love to mark them for you. So see you all tomorrow morning if you're coming. Bye.